Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. I switched to the Milwaukee Pack Outline. Let me tell you why. Alright, so in a previous video, I talked a lot about the DeWalt Tough System, uh, you know, modular storage toolboxes that they have. Um, did a whole kind of review on that. And being a bit of a DeWalt faithful myself, you know, my struggles with trying to stay with that product line, hoping they would sort of come up to speed. And in that video, I actually mentioned that I was pretty confident Milwaukee had the edge in the market as far as this, these modular systems to move your tools. Um, having not had any of it at the time, that was sort of my conclusion just from seeing how much time and effort and money and research Milwaukee was dumping into that product family. And well, here we are. <laughs> Um, so, I guess the, the, the final trigger for me to, to, to switch over and spend the money to do this was when I got my set of DeWalt 2.0 Tough System drawers. Um, they were not what I was hoping for. I had the, the first edition, the 1.0, or the leftovers from the T-Stacks, uh, and I got the new set of 2.0s. And the latch was the same, which the latch failed on my previous model that I had the warranty. They didn't change the latches at all. They're still very clunky and cheesy. It's just a plastic handle with a spring in it. Um, very prone to breaking, I found. And of course, there's still only the one size drawers. You can get two drawers that are the same size and that's it. There's no other options. Um, the only upside they have against the Milwaukee stuff is that the DeWalt ones are IP65 rated. So the drawers are sealed from the elements. So, if you want drawers and your stuff's going to be outside in the elements all the time in the snow and the rain and the mud whatever you might still want the DeWalt's because these are not sealed but every other reason I can find these are better so as I mentioned yeah check out the other video I'll put a link to that in the description below that goes through the DeWalt's and the pros and cons of that system um, and I still have some pieces of it I did sell some of it um, the big lower box now is for like my drywall kit so I'm seeing if I can use them. Anyways, uh, let me get into some specifics on why I went here and I've been using these for, I don't know, a month or so now and they are awesome. So let me tell you more about it. One other quick note on the DeWalt 2.0 drawers, the availability is a huge problem. Um, they're kind of brand new and it doesn't seem many places have them yet. I don't know if DeWalt is slow in shipping them. I had a unit come in on a warranty replacement and that took almost six months to get. You still can't buy them in most stores, there's a few online vendors that have them here and there but they are not yet readily available. Uh, these are. Alright, so let's start at the bottom with the foundation of this system. I did buy one of the uh, Milwaukee rolling dollies for this setup. Uh, they do have locking casters on the front, they're really high quality casters, they roll very nice on a variety of surfaces. And it does have this sort of step bar on the front, which really is just so that if you're taking your boxes on and off, you can put your foot on there and hold the dolly in place and it helps you just to uh, remove the boxes from the dolly. So for me, having the dolly, uh, now this thing lives in the shop with me and I roll it around to where I'm working. And then on site, um, typically I will actually carry a few of these in. Sometimes I'll use an actual hand cart to take the whole stack in, but it tends to be a bit heavy. So I find it honestly easier to carry a couple in than bring the dolly in and stack them back up once I'm on site, and it works great. Um, they pop on and off of this thing easy. It rolls real nice. It's got locking casters. What more do you want in a dolly for these things, right? Next up, I have the larger two drawer set on the bottom. So you can see there's two drawer and three drawer options. Um, I got the two door and then two of the threes. And that all depends on what you want out of your system, but having that option is huge for me for, you know, tools of different sizes. Okay, so one thing to note with the Milwaukee drawers, it is a little odd, and some people are complaining about, but for the price of them, I don't think it's too big a deal. When you buy a drawer set, whichever size it is, it will come with enough dividers to do essentially one drawer. And then if you want to get dividers for your other drawer, uh, you have to buy them separately. Um, they come in you know, kits like this so you can kind of configure the inside of your drawers however you want. You can see the bottom of this one, I don't have any. And in here I kind of use them like they're not intended to be used and I don't have them all the way across, but it, it works well for me. Um, so in this case I didn't need or want any, in fact I have extra pieces. Some of the other ones I, I might actually buy some more dividers, but 
I'll double check, but I think the pricing is like 10 bucks for a set of these. So for what they're charging for the drawers, could they include them? Yes, that would be nice. For $10, is it a deal breaker? No, not for me. All right, so as I mentioned, from the two drawer unit on the bottom, I then have two of the three drawer units above that. And then I, I have this guy, which doesn't usually stay on here. Um, this can kind of get moved around separately, and I probably am gonna buy another dolly and add a couple of just boxes. This actually carries my nail guns. Uh, I don't really need those in drawers. Um, they don't get used on every job for me, so they stay in here. Sometimes I bring this to the site, sometimes I don't. Um, for those that don't know, the Milwaukee stuff is super easy to unstack. And this does have a really nice carry handle. And there you go. So this is the unit that's usually rolling around the shop and rolling around the job site with me. Um, so one of the, my favorite things about these is how the drawers work. They're super simple and so simple in fact may be a detriment because there is actually no latch in these so there's no functionality to this handle there's nothing to pull on release um, they do have very nice drawer slides and you can remove the drawers just like a, a drawer in your kitchen or another toolbox uh, but there is actually no latching mechanism to this they have a little plastic notch in the back of the box that the drawer kind of clicks into and it doesn't really hold it but why that's great is because when you're on site, there's, there's nothing to break here. It's just, a, it's just a drawer that slides in and out. This was my main issue with the DeWaltz is that latch handle, latch, it latches hard every time. You gotta lift the handle up. It, they broke on me twice. Um, I just did not like those latches. These don't need one. But if you're thinking, well, then don't the drawers fly open all the time if you're transporting everything? No, because you have this awesome thing it just clips in. So now when your stuff is in the truck or the trailer, they're not opening. And it's super easy to release and then put away. And now all your drawers, super easy to access. That's why I love these things. They're great and they're light because of that. There is a spot here to put a little padlock on, but I mean, they're plastic, right? That's not it's not really secure. I don't know how secure any of these is. If you're worried about it on that level, someone's just gonna pick it up and walk off with it, right? And it doesn't matter if they can get into it at the time or later. So these, I don't know, I guess it just keeps people honest on a job site, but I never use them. So just to give you a rough idea of why the sizes are nice to have, right? And, and how that works for me, and granted, everybody's setup's gonna be different depending on what you're doing. Um, but for me, you know, the top ones, this one has all my measuring stuff in it. So it's got squares and tape measures and levels and bubble gauges, um, my laser levels in here. I have various hand tools in here, uh, some of my safety stuff, my headlamp. And then this one has like my demolition stuff, a couple of hammers, pry bars. And the second box down, I'm actually still filling up, which is awesome because I brought this kit to, to a couple of installs now and uh, you know the extra space for me is literally extra space. I can decide what I want to put in there. So uh, I think this drawer is going to become for chisels and things that I don't currently bring but I'm going to put some foam in there. And then I have, what do I got, yeah. screwdrivers and, and other smaller hand tool things and then the two big bottom drawers, um, that's where all my cordless tools are so that's the impact, the drill, the jigsaw. Uh, and then the very bottom drawers, I have all these cases of drill bits and impact bits and all sorts of stuff like that that goes with uh, all those cordless tools. So you'd like your multi-tool, uh, saw blades, things like that. So that setup works really well for me. I've been using it on site and in the shop um, and I've got it pretty dialed in to where it's very efficient. And now, instead of working on my big toolbox in the shop that I used to have, honestly, this thing rolls around the shop just like it does at the job site and I use it all the time. So now when I'm ready to go to a job site, I just roll it into the trailer and strap it in and I'm all set to go. So it's been fantastic, um, a drastic improvement for sure. 
All right, so to kind of wrap this one up, it should be pretty obvious, but I am certainly not sponsored by Milwaukee at all. Uh, these were bought with my own money, certainly, um, and frankly, the cost of these things is painful. I mentioned that in the last video. No matter whose system you go with, it's painful. They are overpriced, in my opinion, all of them. However, this is what we have to work with. These are the best systems available, and this has been a huge game changer for me, both in the shop and on the job site. So. It is a painful spend, but it's one of those where having done it now, I feel that it was worth it. It has improved my productivity, it has made me more efficient, and just kept me in a better state of mind on the job because I'm not unstacking boxes and laying them all over the floor and then shuffling around to get things out of them and bending and moving everything. These, everything is right here every time I need it. And it's not only an efficiency improvement, right, but a, a mental state improvement. I like to be organized. and these do that for me very efficiently so I love them if you haven't checked them out they even have these in, in store at Home Depot now so you can go and play with them open the drawers play with the latches see what you think but go check them out really I think you're gonna like them a lot thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time